Okay, we're here at the 2011 Sprint Nationals in Adelaide, Australia. With me, I've got Mario Vesley, owner of uh, Vita Australia. Um, Mario, we uh, we had the thousand meters uh, so far yesterday and today. Uh, what have you seen? Well, what struck you? Well, uh, we've seen very very good performance from the uh, seniors level. Um, Kenny Wallace, fantastic uh, finish. Mari Stewart second, and also from the junior level, we've seen. Um, uh, Billy Bain and the other guys come up really strong to the end. So obviously it's uh, plenty of uh, uh, plenty of uh, young uh, talents in Australia for uh, Olympic uh, distance, uh, thousand meters. What, what can we expect uh, at 200 meters? Oh well, for the 200 meters, we got obviously uh, seven, seven. We got uh, seven, eight heats, and um, it's over 50 people will turn up for the for the heats on uh, Saturday, and uh, will be really tough competition. He will go A, B, and C finals. Um, we are, we got some strong challenges over there. We got Steve Burns. We'll be hoping for him to win on uh, uh, for the Vida Vida team, and also we got the um, people like um, uh, Mari Stewart, like he's, uh, he's good on the 1,000 meters, also good on the 200 meters. We got Joel Simpson from Queensland, trained by Vince Fehervari, ex six or seven times uh, uh, world champion on the 200 from Hungary. And um, there is a few other guys uh, which one can pop up and uh, make a stand. So um, it will be really, really interesting. and. Um, uh, and tough competition, and I think the times and the if the weather weather is uh, good, not strong wind, we'll be looking for some very very good times. I could see a few people on warm up uh, yesterday, and what I seen on the 200 is very fast. Yeah. Okay. Well, with, with this event, the the season in Australia has almost come to an end. Within a few weeks, we still have the selection races for the seniors. But after that, the season in Europe will start. And yeah, we have first we have the um, Junior World Championships in Brandenburg. Well, yeah, what are your ideas and what can we expect there? Well, it's always uh, massive in Brandenburg, in uh, Germany. I obviously, all, all, all East, Eastern Bloc, Germany, um, they will put up a, a, a top event over there, and uh, it's going to be a lot big, big crowds and uh, very, very tough and strong competition in uh, in, in uh, Germany. Obviously, um, it's going to be picked uh, around 20 of juniors to going down there, and uh, as I said, there is some lots of talented people. What we've seen already for the thousand, and uh, I'm just uh, looking forward to see. Uh, See the placing on the uh, on the 500s and 200s uh, in next uh, upcoming few days. Yeah. Hey, and hey, interesting detail, but but hey, you're also from Europe, so you might have a little bit more insight in the Europe playing field. September, it's still you know some time to go, but in September we've got the World Championships in Seged. Do you already have some some insights for us? So what do you think is going to happen there? What can we expect? Oh, Seged's going to be massive. I mean, in a Seged day, it's a uh, the kayak sport and canoeing it's a major sport and you will see some fans over there with drums with uh, saxophones and they're just gonna be supporting them team is gonna be it's gonna be awesome event obviously um, the um, the um, Hungarian they can put up a good show obviously Australian national team Australian national team go train to uh, Hungary all the time and um, and the Hungarian pronounced to be you know to, uh, as I said before, to have a put up a good event, and in a second is very, very close home from the, all the European countries, so it's going to be huge. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Rob.